Hello everyone, my name is Samantha and welcome to my channel or welcome back, whichever one. It's been about a month since I posted my last video. Gray and I went on a big wedding tour where we had three weddings in three weekends um, and we did a big road trip from Virginia to Texas um, to get to all of the weddings and they were all really fun. My last video was about me stopping my cancer medicine and there's been a lot of new people that showed up since then, so thank you guys for subscribing. In this video, I wanted to talk about what happened after I stopped my medicines. My cancer fed off of estrogen, so I was on a lot of hormone medications to try to stop my body from producing that, and um, because of that, I went to a medical menopause state where um, I didn't have periods and I had a lot of menopause symptoms. If you're interested in my symptoms on my hormone therapy medications, I have another whole video about it. Feel free to check that out. One point that I want to bring up from the last video is that I am NED. I got a lot of comments saying you shouldn't be posting these videos out there because people who are stage 4 um, won't get better if they go off their medicines. I am very lucky to have been stage 4, but I am also NED, which means no evidence of disease, so I don't have any detectable cancer in my body at the moment, so hopefully that means that I'm just cured and stopping these medicines won't have an effect. Obviously, we don't know that for sure, but um, I do want to put that out there as just a disclaimer. Um, if I did have detectable cancer in my body, I can't tell you what I would be doing because um, the medicines did make me feel miserable, but I just, I, I don't want to think about that scenario because I don't have to. I did stop my medicines. I did have a follow-up with my oncologist a week ago. I got a Zometa infusion at that appointment, and some of you were confused on my Instagram because I posted um, the video of me getting my infusion. People were wondering why I was still getting medication um, when I stopped all my medication, and Zomet is a little bit different. It's kind of a bone protecting drug. It's just again, another thing that my doctor thinks that I can still very much benefit from um, because my cancer spread to my bones and um, the medications were affecting my bones. I searched a lot on YouTube and on the internet like what happens after you stop all these medicines because there's a lot of information out there about what happens when you start them but not when you stop them. I want to make it clear that I'm going to go into a lot of detail in this video so if you are a male and you don't want to hear about like periods or stuff like that, uh, probably you don't want to watch this but you can I, if you want. It doesn't matter to me. I got my last Zolodex injection on September 23rd. I had another appointment on October 21st. That's when I was going to get my next injection, but that's when uh, we decided to just stop the medicine altogether. So on October 21st is also when I stopped taking my ribocyclib, which was my tar targeted therapy, and my letrozole, which um, was another medication that decreased estrogen. Okay, so immediately after stopping taking the ribocyclib, my nausea got better. Ribocyclib is a medication that I would take for three weeks and then I would have one week off, take it for three weeks again, one week off. So always in that one week off, toward the end of it, I would start to feel better and less nauseous. Um, so of course, when I stopped taking that, I, I stopped feeling nauseous. I was suffering from hot flashes for like the whole two years um, and they were really bad and obnoxious and I couldn't sleep through the night. Those started getting noticeably better around mid-November, and I'm not positive if that was because of the medications going away or if it was because it was getting colder outside, because my hot flashes are always better when it's colder outside for obvious reasons, but um, probably both those things contributed to it, but they started getting noticeably better in the middle of November. My fatigue also started getting better. The fatigue got better because I wasn't taking the medicine anymore, and it also got better because I wasn't having as intense hot flashes, so I could sleep through the night a lot easier. Around November 17th through 18th, I started getting like a ton of bloating. Like it was so, so, so uncomfortable. And I looked it up, and I'm not a doctor, so don't like go off of me, but like changes in your estrogen and progesterone, I think one of those or both um, causes bloating, which is why some people get bloating at certain times in their menstrual cycle. So I'm guessing that my body just like started producing all of that again, and it got really confused, and so it caused 
just so much bloating and this bloating went on for weeks like it was so uncomfortable and it was right around thanksgiving so i remember just on thanksgiving just like not wanting to eat because i just felt like disgusting like every time i would eat like a little bit of food it just felt like i it felt like i was full it was it was so uncomfortable. This is around the time when it's going to start getting like a little bit too much information, but around the 19th and 20th, so right after I started noticing that bloating, I started getting a lot more um, discharge. And that was pretty suddenly that that happened, and it was a lot. Um, and it was so noticeable because I was basically dry um, the entire time. I was on this medicine, or at least like toward the end of it. So um, that was something that was like very shocking and I was like, wow, like I don't think I've ever had this much before. Um, it just kind of like all of a sudden just happened and it was like that for um, a few days. So I'm, I'm guessing just around that time period my body started like kicking back into like producing more of these hormones and it got confused and all of this just stuff started happening and everything was out of whack so around the 27th of november um i was just noticing like just obviously these are pms symptoms but i was noticing more of them my boobs were very sensitive and that is just something that like wouldn't have even phased me three years ago when i was just like a normal woman like living my life because that just happens all the time regular points in your cycle um but i hadn't really felt that or noticed that kind of thing in two-ish years. So that was just something that I became like really aware of. December 3rd and 4th, I started getting cramps and it made me think that my period was coming, but it didn't come. Um, like I even took Advil, like they were just like bad, felt like period cramps. And I, I don't know why, like it didn't, my period didn't come until like a whole week after that. So I, I don't know what that was. On the 6th of December, I noticed that my cramps stopped and um, my bloating just kind of went back down to normal. Like I just didn't have as much uncomfortable bloating. And um, my hot flashes were like way less frequent. And that was just like everything just like felt so normal then. And I was just like, this is amazing. I just want to feel like this all the time. <laughs> After this point, sleeping started getting just super easy. Like I could just go to sleep and then I would wake up in the morning. Like there was one night when I was tired, so I, I fell asleep and I woke up at like 6 a.m. or something, like in the same spot that I had fallen asleep in. And I was like, whoa, I just slept for that many hours, like all the way through. It's, which hadn't happened to me in years. It, it was just, it was amazing. And my, at that point, my fatigue was basically gone. Um, I just I had regular fatigue and tiredness like that a normal person has. And yes, there is a huge difference and it's kind of like harder to explain, but like when you have fatigue from a medicine, you have to focus a lot harder to just do everyday normal things that like would be so easy if you weren't in this like brain fog state of fatigue and like everything just kind of it's just harder to do. And when you're normally tired, it feels like you, if you get like a pump of adrenaline or like caffeine or something, you can just like go about your day and you'll be tired and it'll be annoying, but like it's not the same thing. It's, I don't know, it's hard to explain. On December 10th, that was the day that I think I had my last hot flash. <laughs> I remember because we were in Texas, we were traveling and I had one like right before I went to sleep that night. And then I woke up and then like the whole next day went by and I was like, wait, I don't think I've had a hot flash this entire day. So that was really awesome for me. On December 11th, I started noticing pink discharge for a couple days, which I guess is normal for some people um, when they are about to start their period because my period started on the 13th of December. Um, but that's just not something that's ever happened to me, so I don't know if that has to do with my body just like getting back into normal or whatever. Um, but that happened for that period and then it happened for the next period after that. So my period came back two to three months after my last Solidex injection. So my last Solidex injection was September 23rd and my period um, started on December 13th, not including the weird spotting that was happening before that. 
I don't know if you count that or not, but if you do, that was December 11th. One thing that I noticed was that my period was like super manageable. Um, it was only four days and the cramps were just like not that bad. Like they were just like average cramps. And I don't usually have like super bad cramps, I guess, but usually like for the first two days, it's like obnoxious and like I have to take Advil or something. They, they just were so much better than I remember them being. And I don't think that that has to do with me just not having them in a while. I think that they actually just are better than they were before. Okay, it says it says in here that I still sometimes got mild hot flashes whenever I would eat like a ton of sugar or a lot of salt. But it wasn't like I was getting regular hot flashes no matter what, like what was happening before. So like I used to get hot flashes about every hour. I think my family went to a movie and I had like an entire large popcorn and like a soda. So I think after that I got like a hot flash, but it was like one hot flash and maybe two and then that was it. So I have one here around December 20th. I noted that it's been a while since I'd felt nauseous and the usual triggers that were triggering my nausea were just becoming way less intense. So like there are still places that I can't go out to eat because I went there too many times on chemo or just thinking about them makes me feel gross. Certain smells would just set me off when I was on my medicine or like just thinking about certain things would just set me off and just make me feel really bad. And that was just becoming way less intense, like just because I wasn't feeling sick all the time anymore. It's crazy how much I didn't appreciate just not being nauseous before this whole cancer thing happened. Like just being able to go about my normal life and just do anything and not feel sick and just think about like eating something or like being outside and there's a flower and just like and having no reaction to it or just like being like oh that's nice like I can enjoy that thing without just feeling like I want to like throw up it's it was amazing <laughs> it's amazing it's it's great so that along with just not having hot flashes and being able to sleep at night have been the best things ever and I just it's it's so it's so great. January 10th I wrote down that I just don't get hot flashes at all anymore so probably that time that I went to the movie and I ate a huge popcorn or whatever that was probably like the last time I had like a big hot flash. I guess I haven't really eaten an entire popcorn since then so I don't know. Another whole thing that happened when I got off my meds is my white blood cells are just completely back to normal. I can just tell because I'm just convinced that the amount of white blood cells you have is just directly related to fatigue. So um, whenever I would feel bad when I was like on IV chemo, it would always be before I got my new Lasto, which would like give me more white blood cells or whatever. And with this medicine, my white blood counts were basically just low all the time. Like they never, they at the beginning of when I was starting this medicine, they would get back up to the regular level right before I would get the medicine again. But after a certain point, they just kind of always stayed low. And so I had a lot of fatigue. <laughs> so at my last appointment when I was getting my Zometa, I got my blood drawn. So these are the numbers. Um, this top one right here, I don't know if you can see. Okay, the top one right there is my white blood count, and then the one below that is the red blood count. And as you can see, all of these numbers here are um, in the normal range. All of them are in the green. And that just, it hasn't happened to me in years. So for reference, this is the last one, the last blood draw I had before that. Um, this is from August 2021. These are my numbers, so that's my white blood cells, that's my red blood cells, and then these numbers, I don't know what they are, but they're out of whack. <laughs> so yeah, that's another thing that happened after I got off my medicine. All my white blood counts went back to normal, um, and you can really tell because I don't feel awful. <laughs> I think I might have mentioned briefly in my last video that I was going to decide on tamoxifen with my oncologist, and I, um, at my last appointment we talked about it for a little bit, and I decided to not do tamoxifen. And if you don't know what tamoxifen is, it's just another um, hormone therapy medication that is supposed to be less intense than the treatment that I was on, um, but still has side effects for some people. Um, some people don't have side effects, but some people do. And 
honestly, at this point, I'm just kind of done. Like, I don't want to go on another medication. I don't want all the changes to my body to happen again. Like, now that I've been off of stuff and I see, like, what I was missing, and honestly, I didn't even realize it was going to be this good. I was afraid for myself. I was afraid that going off my medicine wasn't going to solve any of my problems and I was still going to feel really bad and I was it was just going to be like, oh, maybe this is just how life is, but no, it literally solved all of my problems. Like, I feel so much better. Everything is amazing now. And I just, I, I don't want to go back on anything. And especially with me, um, especially with me being NED, I, I just, I don't want to do it. And um, I'm still going to regularly get scans. So my next scan is a PET scan, and that is going to be in uh, mid-March. So that's when I have my next follow-up with my oncologist after the PET scans. I really do hope to post more often again to now that we're now that we're back and settled back into normal life after Christmas and after the wedding tour. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to post more maybe once a week like I was doing on either this channel or our other channel. Thank you for being patient with me through like this busy time of me just not updating anyone on anything. Hopefully, that'll end now. Um, thanks to all the new subscribers that have shown up after my last video and thanks to all of you guys that are still subscribed and have been for a while. Um, if you're not subscribed, you should do that, but only if you want to and check out some other videos if you're interested. Okay, yeah, that's all. Bye. <laughs>